Everyone, this is Bill's man, continuing session 12 of the Ancient Mortal Reborn. Uh, I'm your DM, JBD. I am Evan the Great of the Villain of the Man. I play Luda Silverstring, the bar with the violin, who can now shoot fireworks. I'm the oh, so you're Jubilee. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Okay. I hold it up, I don't know what's coming out of there. Fire, lightning. That's what she said. <laughs> That's how porn was made. <laughs> And I'm the Bearded Wonder, <laughs> playing Vesper Norik, the Moon Elf, and uh, yeah, I'm just doing my thing, you know, not doing Jubilee stuff. <laughs> I am Smiley, playing Orders White Hammer, Dragon Slayer. And I'm Wes, playing Roland Ivor. Okay, Roland, how about you give me a uh, recap of this last uh, encounter you just had, through the eyes of Roland? Well, uh... An individual Roland thought was dead and gone basically showed up riding a dragon in his mother's greatsword. Mm, yeah, pretty much. Who may have been a possible love interest for Roland in the past. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> after, after some few short words were exchanged there, uh, they flew off carrying uh, the cult wagons and you know, taking all the cult members but one. After that, a dragon came out from the woods, and combat ensued. We took the, well, Orda got the last shot on the dragon, taking it down. Ooh, it was a big shot, too. Yeah. I shot in the head. Made up for all the ones. I helped. Oh, you. yes. And now yes. we're looting. All, yeah. things, all, all things to Luda. Okay. Yes, um, well, you're not looting. Vesper's looting. You guys are running around here and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, like I had told you before, Rowan, as you try to make great right to the front, you seen that um, El Hillary was defeated. Um, your guys that survived, um, Alor, the guy that you saved from the High Goblins, ran. There's a guy named Archney that ran. A uh, guy, woman, girl named Ani ran. Um, Lay, Lay, uh, the dwarf that was a merchant, lived. Um, Wurrand lived, uh, Enom died, Lita died, Tajit lived, Red Carey lived, and Isma lived. And then you've got this one cultist that fell off the wagon that managed to live. Okay. Um, I'm guessing you guys are tying this guy up. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's just start off around the table. Luda, what are you doing? You, you're kind of healing. You see Vesper looting, grabbing some of this loot. You're over there probably kind of consoling El Hiller at this time. Or, prayer. Yeah, you're starting to say this prayer. Um, or you, I'm assuming you've ran off to the woods, correct? I am um, trying to get the dragon. Okay, Luda. Besides uh, so running around healing, she's going to start gathering everybody. And tell everybody if we get all together, then I will do a song that will heal your wounds. A song of rest. Okay. Once we get ready, to, if we want to rest, she can do that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That will heal yeah, everybody. Yeah, rest after this. Yeah, that will heal everybody. <laughs> um, of their. Or are you worried about that? Once you hear her say that, or you just have to go dragon? I want the dragon, but it's not like a life or death thing. I thought most people was hurt. I want to send it. I want to send it back to Greenest. Well, that's the dragon that attacked it. And then, um, Vesper, you're looting. Yep. All right, um, which I'd say I've done, sent you guys everything that you'd found. You've already divvied it up. Um, who took the long sword? I didn't catch that. Gave it to her. Or who's yeah, so Remember, I fucked up about killing her. Right. Just letting you know. So you throw her in combat, I will kill the bitch. Um, <laughs> let's get to Ord, because this one's kind of big, personal to him. You find this dragon, and it's just got a gaping hole in its neck where it meets its shoulders where he had killed it with this last shot. And there it is. You can see where it was blinded, and you start having flashbacks to where Perry let off this bomb that was made of light that went off in this dragon's face while it was in his mouth, and he had wound up falling to his death. I'm going to remove its head, be it with, like, a, one of the scimitars I had from the cold slip for my yeah, one. It's going to take you a while, but you're just yeah. cutting its head off. <coughs> uh, angrily or are you full of sorrow? Sorrow. Sorrow. Do you feel like vengeance has been had? I feel that Perry can rest. 
He still wants to go after Ford for greatness itself and Rack, but he, he feels like he's lost a burden. Okay. Um, Roland, in his prayer. Um, Consoling uh, <clears throat> at Hillary. Uh, as you do that, you're saying this prayer, you kind of look around. I mean, everybody's just at a loss. Um, there are some people that, that don't really understand, but they're grabbing what they can, and they're trying to chip away at this ice. Um, because no one bothered to attempt to save any of the wagons that received damage. There are wagons that are completely damaged and cannot be used. For instance, the wagon in front of you, done. The only wagon that was left is a very front one that you were pulling in y'all's own wagon with Grizzly. Where's Grizzly at? Has he come back yet? Um, not at this moment. These people that ran were terrified. I mean, eventually with the war, death war of the dragon, the crashing into the forest, uh, eventually they will make their way back. All right. Uh, one thing that I am going to do with this cloak before I even try to put it on is I'm going to bring it to Varys and ask him if he can identify it. Um... <laughs> Pussy. Uh, anyway. Maybe so. <laughs> yeah. Varys is slightly hurt right now. Uh, yeah. Varys is here right now. But right. I'm not saying that he has to do it. He right might now. take it and do this. He has to know. He's <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, the king of 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 the the king of the the yeah, but I mean, there's still people that, you know, or you see all this death. I'm still gathering before. everybody in the center. Um, <laughs> you definitely like very angry and ashamed. I'm over there just picking up loot. Alright, Yeah, you're still picking up loot. Don't get yeah. up there. This is a nice pan um, <laughs> And even when I tell you this, he's looking at Vesper with disgust. I don't care. I don't like What's he looking at me like? Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I mean, I'm he's only got. I'm trying to get very slow. Yeah, I mean, you hang that clothes, He doesn't want nothing to do with it. He's not even worried about it. He says, uh, "If anything, that was stolen from somebody." You should think about that. He said, "Your friend up there, that's probably someone's livelihood she's taking." Paladin shaming one on one. Word. <laughs> I mean, all who you haven't really heard say word, he's looking at you the same way. Like, wow. You worried more about this cloak after you killed everybody than you just tried to gather everybody. That was the dice. So. Um, what do you got? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm gathering all, everybody up and telling them to get, to get together so I can attempt to kill all wounds at one time. You've heard this. You're here. Heard what? This conversation that happened. Because you've been gathering everything. Oh, yeah. Now, what do you make of this? Um, I think he probably should wait until we get everybody healed up and then look at that later. Um, that's what I did with my gym. I threw it in the bag in case somebody needs it at a later point. Like I said, I didn't ask him to do it right then. Just yeah. Asked if he could. Yeah. Uh, not mad at him, <clears> but. I'm kind of. I'm really not worried about it. I think she's worried about healing. It was everybody. intended as yeah. like start conversation with him, but he took it the wrong way. So, but did he? Yeah. I mean, you were just attacked by a dragon. And Luda's gathering people around, gathering people up, had some healing. Come back to check on him. Start conversation. Something new that I got. So, but still, think about it. Your whole thing has been helping, 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 and then you helped, and you went like, hey. Going by this, for like, I'm gonna toss you this cloak, and you're like, cool, hey, what is this? <laughs> Just put it on. I mean, he's ADD, it's not his fault. Um, I got it. <laughs> I mean, that, that's how I imagine this is going. Vesper's like, hey, and she's tossing people and stuff. I mean, it does gather <clears throat> quite a few looks from people. Some people will join in with you because they have no shame and they will start gathering up gold and gems and stuff. That's what we've do I see this? From her, That's probably. what we do yeah. like training day. We just like pull our crossbows. We're like, this is evidence. <laughs> <laughs> do I see like everybody joining him, just taking stuff? Some people do. Yeah. I'm Take gonna raise it, my man. voice. I'm a lawful <laughs> character, and I'm going to say, if you, if you, uh, once your well being in check, you shall get over here. You will not get any of my. I will not heal you. I'm good. I'm healed. Keep getting 
Did you take any damage? <laughs> um, and I know the ones that fell, the dwarf and what's the elf name? Varys' brother. Ost. Ost. I asked Ost. The dwarf did fall himself. I know, but I asked him if I have any, you know, physical wounds I can. No, no, no. I mean, I get my bandage kit out, my first aid kit. I want to make sure everybody's one hundred percent because. I mean, unless you've got enough healing to heal everybody full, which I don't think. Yeah. Right between everybody. Well, my, my I mean, song rest. Sure have injury. Yeah, my song rest. If they got levels, they could do D six healing. That's what. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's gonna take a while for wounds to. So I play. I start. Most these people were yeah. like commoners, so I mean, they don't. I got my first aid kit. Yeah. So. I mean, I got it out. I'm gonna play my violin. I'm gonna try to calm the mood. Um, any bandaging I can do. Fuck. I'm gone. I'm going to find a bear. No, I told you they're gonna to come back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot who's gone. I mean, they ran. Okay. I am know the bear was hurt, so I will be. Yeah, able he to was uh, by range. He was right in range with the acid. So. So I help everybody, but I definitely attend to the bear. Okay. Yeah, eventually Grizzly and him and the three that had ran, they eventually show back up. Um, I mean, unless any of you guys are making a point to do anything major or speed the night up, because this would be very quiet night. I mean, you, you've lost a lot of your food wares also, because the wagon in front of you had a lot of food wares. I mean, people are getting worried. I mean, now you're out in the middle of nowhere between Dragon Spear, Hamlet, and Daggerford. And you've got to weigh in, but that's still days away. People are going to be getting hungry, thirsty. Uh, I'll just tell Grizzly look at the wagon, you know, mm -hmm. while we're making camp or whatever for the night. Mm -hmm. what? And that way, I mean, anything I can help <coughs> you to get the wagon going. When I get back, I'll start using mending and my wood carving to get whatever wagons we can going that we need. Okay, and you're going to put this dragon's head in this bag of holding. Yeah. I'll walk back dragging it. Um, Are there any way we can get scales off of it? You can go back to the I want to invest, one. eventually I would you like to the investigate ball. the dragon. I want to check his blood, see what it looks like. I've never seen a dragon before. How many skills well, I'm wearing his blood right now. I know, but I mean, I've never seen As many though. as you want, but it's going to take a while. Based on gathering all he, the... I would say he's probably gone about an hour cutting his dragon's head off. Yeah. I'm taking all, I'm, I'm basically I'm taking all the information I can in about this dragon because I want to send a message. Or sending to Leosa. Okay. Lando, we got attacked by a, a dragon, or what, three dragons? Yeah. And a rider <coughs> that had his mother's sword. I'm going to tell him all that, even if it takes two sendings. So. Okay, so eventually, after you calm some emotions, yes. you're going to head off that way. Now, you're asking about skills? Yeah, could we get some skills off the dragon? For what? Like trophies? If or I'm not stopping. Yeah, I'm not stopping. Yeah. 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 Uh, Roland yeah. is going to share his personal stock of rations that I bought with the people, with these other people that uh, obviously we're going to need the extra food. Make, make it up for making Gordon's bad. I wonder if we'll help you with that. Look at it. I'm not, man. I mean, would, I saw would there be enough time or enough scales for me to get enough reward to make like a, a shirt or something? That's it didn't take a while. I mean, dragon scale. I mean, if you, you want to sit there and work, flicking them off. That is what I'm doing. You want to stay out of those by yourself? You want to stay out of those by yourself? I've worked with the other dragon bag. I'm using time. No, they take a lot if you got to drag this thing back through the forest at that. To take to take, take the high and instead the skill. Take the high. Then. Yeah, because the skill will be medium armor to begin with. Yeah. And Ord has more experience working with leather and like. But still, with the high, you the hides that are the skills. So oh, yeah. you still got work to do there. Just cut off like a you look, you, you, you want to see here? I was about to say I'd say take a tooth, but he even took the head. Yeah, <laughs> take a claw. Yeah, take a claw. It's a big size claw. If you don't have a claw, it's probably about the size of just half this table. Yeah. It's a large dragon, okay. man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll take some skills. Here. So, flick a couple off. Yeah. Uh, Ruby D8. Uh, Ruby D8. Ruby D8. Hey, you get seven off. Sweet. Each one's like, yay, yeah, big. Okay, so you take a roost day with you, too. You guys head off. Uh, Luda, you're going to go that way also. Check out this dragon. And you're yeah. going to be handing out rations, right? Correct, Roland? And healing as well, if anybody still needs it. Oh yeah, people are going to need it. I've got plenty, and I've got lay on hands and go around. Before I start repair work on this, Ramirez and Oz start 
like in decent shape. Uh, I mean, they're beat, they're they're beat up. Yeah, why? That's all they're worried about. I mean, they'll you know you ask them, she'll tell you that's it's the job. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it just makes it like they don't have like a broken arm, fixed right. backwards or some shit like that. Um. Ludo, you find this dragon, and you, he's almost got his head cut off. And you see him, and he's just doing all I can. Tears to hack, drinking yeah. down his face. And uh, Vesper, you're there, too. Did you ever tell me the yeah. reason you're hacking this thing's head off? No, I just won't. No, I don't, you know, I don't think he's ever told anybody. I asked him, what go, I said, what was the dragon's head? Is it viable? It's the, do you see the scar? You look at its eye, and it's got a scar on the side of its face, and its eye is completely cataract over. Yes. Harry did that. That's all I'm saying is keep hacking at it. Oh, okay. At that point, I'm like, I'll still investigate it, but I want to stay away from the front of the body. He tells you that, and uh, you get to thinking about when you arrived at Greenest, and you seen this big flash of light, and a green dragon fly up to the air. Hmm. This was a dragon that was there at Greenest. Yeah. So you tell us about it. That's all I said. No, that's all he says. You know there was a green yeah. dragon. Great well, yeah, you were there doing it. But I mean, since we both went together. So, I mean. I assume I heard it. And you, okay, yeah, that would. You, know you would know You would be able to put two and two together. Because yeah, you yeah. would know who Perry is due to Osborne. Right. Or their rival. So, you could put. You would put two and two together. Like, oh, maybe this dragon killed him. Yeah, I'll go over and put my hand on four shoulder. Just be like, you got part of man. I asked uh, Orin. He can rest now. I, I tell him, I said, these, these beasts are very dangerous. They took your friend. They almost took us. How, how do you suppose we fight the bigger ones? Yeah, and the ones you've seen were yeah. like three to four times the yeah. size of this one. We pray. I mean, you literally seen those with like one claw just like yeah. scoop up a wagon and take off, you know. After our meeting, I will go to a location and I have to send a couple messages to get all this information to Wilson. Are you going to flick some skills too? Or no. Not worried about it? I'm worried about where the dragons are flying to. Okay. Uh, you figure you're going to leave together? Go back to Canada? Yeah. yeah. All the way back, maybe if I can get a couple of rabbits or something. Um, I Unless would say no because, because everything is gone. From the noise. Yeah. Well, that and four dragons were here, so right. I mean. And you probably won't find nothing to eat here for a couple days. I mean, the area smells like acid. Yeah, acid, and poison. Yeah, everything's very. Yeah. It's it's very Those are things yeah. that's rolling really around in her mind, but she's just not going to ask about it right now. Why the dragons had different weapons they used? Oh, like breath weapons. Yeah. Well, it's just by different type, but I mean that's just something you can. Ask she's heard of dragons, but she don't. She don't know that they did that. You guys right. are making your way back. Um, rolling. Seen something you hadn't seen in months now. Your mother's great sword. One guy, the blue half dragon you guys had left for dead. He didn't die so long. You find out is alive. Just like Roland. Covered in gold and silver armor. The only weapon you seen him carry was this sword. How do you feel about that? A little confused, but also angry as fuck. To be fair, he did take his. <laughs> Very angry about it. Just, yeah. Um, he did promise that he would meet you again. Um, how do you feel about that? Especially seeing that he was on this massive blue dragon. I've already lost to him twice. So Roland is a little eager to redeem himself. But not dumb enough to fight one of them dragons. <laughs> Oh, that's very, very true. But you've got your own steed. You got an elk. That ain't gonna help against one of them big dragons. How do you know? Need a nightmare. Elk, red wing. Um, the little one almost one shot. <laughs> um, but as you guys uh, come back and whatnot, uh, Roland, you've heard a lot of these. A lot of people are terrified. They don't even think they're gonna make it to Daggerford. They don't even think they're gonna make it to the way. And you see, you hear a lot of fear from everybody. And I mean, um, if you try to calm it down. I mean, you're still going to hear it. I mean, everybody's terrified. I mean, these are common people, and to see not one dragon, but three massive dragons. And a baby. 
Yeah. Well, they didn't see that. Some of them didn't see that. Some of them didn't see that. I mean, it is very rare, especially to see three dragons of different breeds together. Well, actually, there's four breeds. That's there. mountains. Yeah, I one of them was a mountain. Giant yeah. green one as well. So, no, no, no. I can't. I got my black and my green backwards. Right. So your your guard gargantuan ones was your black one, your white one, your blue right. one. If I would have remembered to get my white one from Wes's, I have all three of those. So <laughs> that therefore that's why they were what they were. <laughs> Um, but as you guys come back, like I said, I mean, whispers throughout the night is fear. People that don't think they're going to live through the rest of this. Um, it's very quiet, very eerie. You don't hear animals through the woods. I'll try to console whoever I can. I'm sorry, go ahead. Give him a few first, man. You start speaking first. That's fine. Roland will probably start, uh, doing everything he can to bring spirits up. He knows he ain't going to be able to eliminate it all together because it's very it's a very big thing but uh <clears throat> perhaps tell stories you know things that distract their minds from it shit i got that dragon he kicked my ass twice don't worry about it you'll be all right don't worry we have a thing uh, i think okay bird tell, tell me a story throw you on the spot there buddy tell me a story <laughs> Once upon a time, <laughs> and galaxy, <laughs> and everybody's like, "That's what I feel like it's like." The end. <laughs> mm, so, well, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of tell some of the around. people. I'll be like, you know, this this green dragon that we fought here had attacked Green Nest when when we were in Green Nest. Everybody's like, "What?" Because no one no one really knows about that yet. Actually, I don't know where you're at. Yeah, he's, he's, he's talking about it. I told him about it. Who? When he was everyone, to, uh, Ed, Ed Hillary and everybody, when we got the cultist yeah. out, he was oh, telling right. about it. Yeah. And I was just telling him that, you know, we fought it before and we were all down and somehow we made it through. And this time we fought it and we were able to fend it off. Be like, so um, these things are looking a little bit better, if only by a, a very, very slight margin. Um, Al Nord, the guy who stayed from Hong Goblins, he said, What about the mother three? This one was some, a well, child compared to those. Well, if they he's dark, like, you know, in, we're probably dead. I mean, look how beat <laughs> up everybody is. I'll be like, well, if they come back, we're probably dead. That really helps everybody. Because I have you, zero charisma. <laughs> you see a lot of looks from everybody looking at each other like, you know, they feel they're, they're going to die. But we can only do what we can do. I'm going to try to save the day here. I was about to say, I'll, I'll, I'll console whoever I can. And try to keep people's minds busy by offering to have them help me with the repair. <clears throat> oh shit! I wouldn't even scare the dragon. Stories are probably just <laughs> how, like a firm that they thought that they grew up listening to in, in the temple. What do you roll for, like trying to inspire people in to talk talking to them? Persuasion, you persuasion. Know what he likes in the tree dragons? Yeah. <laughs> or performance? Yeah, You're trying to entertain everybody. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little, You're bored, it? Yeah. Maybe a little or, song of courage. Like, play some soothing music. Okay. Roll, roll me a performance. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a nine. Hey. Oh! oh! oh the the hour, everyone <laughs> forgets dragons even fucking exist. Okay. <laughs> well, what did you just say, Vesper? But how's the song good? We're singing a song. Come on! <laughs> That's what has happened. And sing me a song. Oh, on the spot? Yeah. Two dons on stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Talk right, to I don't know those songs. Your, your, song your, fir right. your first chord was so awesome. Yeah. It made Smiley's arm bleed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sing us a song. Three dragons deep. Three dragons deep. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what Vesper is. Yeah. Three dragons Roll deep. Bro. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, you rolled a twenty. Yeah, we are. Um, yeah. got twenty six all together. Twenty nine. You. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You really calm the mood down. So I did not play that. I played more of a mellow. Um, you're talking about you know. <laughs> You're you're seeing you're telling the story about the cave and how you know you helped breed the cult there. I've seen plenty of fallen soldiers that I have helped bring back to life. As long as I'm on this wagon, 
everybody is safe, and I do that within a thong. Oh, man, maybe you need to be paladin now. <laughs> Don't see me as evil, but I am good in heart. Who sees you as evil? All these people. They thought those, they were all cultists. All, them, yeah. all, all those people were cultists. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me you're safe with me. Yeah, you really do a lot to uh, lighten the mood up to make everybody feel a little bit. Walk over to Kurt. I said, even the animals I love, and I pet him on the head. Oh. <laughs> now you're a druid paladin. <laughs> um, I do. I think about my angel ball today. With that, I mean, um, oh, <laughs> you really help pick up the spirits because uh, we're going to go ahead and speed a lot of this yeah. up. Um, you throughout the days you keep telling me stories. Roland was telling stories about his childhood, the Order of the Gauntlet, and of the sort. Um, even when you tell the story of the battle in the Black Dragon Cave, and everybody else kind of gets on it, you know, you gotta start weaving the story of what you've been through, you know, and then you even remind the people of what they've survived. I mean, you've got your fallen people, but I mean, look, man, you've you survived an assault by hill giants. You know, you guys are alive through dragons, you know, believe in yourselves, be strong, you know, and you really start boosting morale over the next couple of days. Um, <clears throat> you guys, you hit the weigh-in. Uh, weigh-in's very, very popular, like, Tavern Inn and Forgotten Realms, I don't know if you guys know what the weigh-in is. So it's, it's only a big place between Dragon Spear and Daggerford. I know the only portal... <laughs> yeah, well, that's I've never heard, heard all the way in after that. Um, there, uh, once you get way in, um, you meet the reinforcements that you'd asked for. Um, you said you were going to send a spell sending back up here a little. Mm -hmm. What are you going to send? Uh, I don't know if I have enough words, but I'll try. Well, you said you're cast a couple. Yeah, I will cast both of them if need be. I mean, you've got enough time yeah. that you could burn like every yeah. spell you needed to cast it. Uh, I'm telling Lee Olson everything about, you know, the two dragons, the dragon rider, the baby dragon. They stole the cultist gold, the cultist that got away, uh, the cultist we still have, uh, the baby dragon we killed. Before you go any further, Roland, do you bother to tell anybody who that was riding the dragon? Oh, I'm right. Yeah, if he does, I'll tell him. If not, I would. Or is that something you keep personal to yourself? Does it look like the half dragon that we fought in the cave? You don't know because it had a golden dragon mask on. He knows because of the sword. That's what tipped him off. Was yeah. the sword? If he I didn't, if his tell. reception wasn't so high enough, he would have never knew. He I just thought the guy was that. challenging. Uh -huh. But I wouldn't want to sow fear in the rest of the group. You won't so feel the rest of the group. I mean, he, uh, Luda's done a really good job of lifting spirits, so you're not going to. But if you're going to leave it amongst them, I just need to know, because I don't know if Luda would send that your message. Luda would not. Okay. Continue on, Luda. Yeah, that's, I basically ended all the cultists got away, everybody that's died, the people that slept on the caravan, the dragons, what they took, and the baby dragon we fought, and I've never seen or fought anything like that. I tell him that the weapons sprayed from their mouth and melted armor right off men. Uh, uh, what way do they fly? Do they fly to, towards where we're going or away? It's a good question. I wonder if somebody's going to ask that. Well, you are. They fly northeast from where you guys were. I was wondering if somebody's going to ask that. Well, Ward saw the little green one with the, and he carried, he lost all the focus on the other ones. I tell him there's a dragon rider on one of them with the mask. I try to describe it to the best of my ability. No, you just tell Leo. You can just tell Leo. It's the one we killed. Oh, yeah, the one we killed. Yeah, killed. Um, hey, he was there. I said yeah, the dragon there. flew northeast. Um, so that I don't think they're directly in our path, but I would definitely send a watch out. Okay. Which uh, you've already asked for reinforcements. You guys make the way in. Um, so you've got everybody in good spirits. Will you see a bunch of riders from Waterdeep waiting on you guys like you meet them at this end? Like everybody's excited, everybody's thrilled because now you've your new cavalry's came. Might be short, but now it's here. I mean, that really boosts everybody's morale up because now there's more people capable of defending them if you need it. Um, everything when you're at the way in, whatever you need, your supplies, your food, your water, 
baths, drinks are all on the house as you're telling these stories of surviving dragons and whatnot. Show me the dragon head. Um, <laughs> yeah. Come like, look at this. Um, there, this caravan will now be escorted back to Waterdeep by everybody. We're in Daggerford right now? Oh, you're way in. Okay. Um, you guys sit there and, uh... Wait a minute, is Grizzly and them leaving or are they staying? That's what I was just about to say. Go ahead and ask them. I go up to Grizzly because I know we're getting to the end. Because you do know that you guys aren't going to Daggerford. Well, at least, uh... You two until we became you two as guards because you guys are going to a place called Nightstone, which you were going to cut off from everybody. Yeah, so we're still with him. Hello, I don't, that's what he's about to ask. You know, are you guys still employed by me or am I heading to Nightstone by myself? Ask him where Nightstone's at. Um, uh, we'll show you where Nightstone's at. By the way, um, if you're watching this, and to you guys, if you don't have Storm King's Thunder, you need it because it's got a thing about almost everything in the north. It's very, very useful. Like this map. This map. Okay, so you're down here in the way in, right? Here's Waterdeep, you're going to Nightstone. So eventually you'll branch off about two days before you get to Waterdeep. So we're still going in the same direction. Yeah, you're just cutting off. So you arrive a night not so in a day before they get to water deep. I'm 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 gonna tell Grizzly that for me, I don't know about Luda, but you you hired me and I gave you my word that I would be a guard on your caravan to the, your destination, so that's what I'll do. Alright. Uh, you're, you're not a guard anymore. I tell you are my man. Was it you that got paid? Okay. I grew attached to <clears throat> Curd, Grizzly, and what's the, the old name? Halfling, I mean. Oh, Long Nose? I said Long Nose. Who afterwards pulls out his necklace and puts it on? I said, I didn't think I would After all be, this is I'll over. You, I, didn't, well, yeah, so I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't think I would make many friends on here. And I don't only made friends, I made best friends. You had me till the end. I shake Grizzly's hand. Um. And he looks at Ori and Roland. It's a nightstone. I could have let the bar die by itself. But I do need to get to water deep as fast as possible. And he tells you, uh, who's going to feed that bear cheese? Oh, you lovable furry ass. Because he hasn't had cheese in days now. No, I'll be, I, I just said I'd give him cheese this other day. Yeah, but, you've, but by now you've already used all this cheese. Oh, yeah. And you want some cheese. I already supply cheese. So tonight, Stone. Let's play some other stuff on one day. Yeah, nice. Okay. Though. I feel like I said I've gained some friends on this. You guys have made allies. Well, what's a druid woman? What's her? Where's she going from here? I don't know. We're gonna talk to her. I'm gonna ask the group. I said I think we should bring as many as we can tonight, Stone, that are allies. Okay. We want, want to get as far away from us as possible at this point. So <laughs> me uh, roll me persuasion. We're safer together than apart. Uh, persuasion is oh okay, yes, Chris. We didn't get anything from me helping him one. one. Yeah, I got plus four. Wow! wow. Another twenty. <laughs> Did you just buy that one? <laughs> oh, it never does. What do you say to her? I go up and I tell her that it's been great adventuring with you, and if you haven't noticed, I've gained a love for animals and nature through watching what she does. I said you never accuse me. You always had an open mind, and I said, there's three, there's dragons out there. I feel like together we're better than apart. Would you accompany us to Nightstone? She will gladly accept your offer because she's heading that direction anyways now. She's got no wares oh, to take. What's her name? What's her name? Uh, Hillary. Hillary. Yeah, Hillary. She's got nothing, no wares to take. Uh, those that are traveling with her is going to be accompanied by this caravan, you know, guard, all this basically small army that came, you know, she has no reason to go to Waterdeep. Her plan is to go to the High Forest and talk to the Emerald um, Enclave about what has happened. Can I speak with the Varus and Oz to see where they're heading? Love it. It's like we don't want the party to fall. Sure. Do I need to roll again? Oh. <laughs> Varus, Ost. 
Where, where are you heading from here? To Luskin. Luskin. We're going to inform the Arcane Brotherhood of what has happened here. Fair enough. I wish I could travel with you more. He's like, I have a feeling we'll be seeing you again. I, I genuinely hope so. If you make your way near Metabar, I've had a family up there. Send my regards. He's like, one day, we'll meet again, I promise. And I've already given the plans, right? Yes, you have the plans. He does have the plans for your gun. Thank I mean, you for it, everything. That's... Yes, I mean, no, it, thank you. Them gems you have for this, and he bats his back. I bring, I bring on my scrapbook book and flip through pages that actually have like spells. I right figured that most of Thank you. Like you have no idea. Um, anybody else? I want to go talk to Varys. As no, well. no, no. You and Roland are talking to her. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. He's only getting Varys and Oz. Okay. Uh, I want to talk to her, boost you. Okay. I just want to ask her if she's still up for. This life. You, she's all about this. You she's stood in the face of this dragon. You fucked up a dragon. I mean, you stood. Even you though she was completely feet. terrified, you're like, stay behind. You said I mean, 20 feet in front of the lightning. What you guys, <laughs> what you guys <laughs> done? <laughs> she feels that, you know, that nothing happened to her. So, so yeah, she's in it for a long haul. Two just put this in his grave. And I will kill that. I will right. kill that bitch if you stick out there in fight. combat. I'm just warning you. Kill her. Okay, so, you got allies. You got El Hiri. She's heading to you guys tonight, Stone. So, after spending the, the night in the way in, everybody's in good spirits. You've gathered allies. Um, you guys hit the road, heading towards Nightstone. Um, you wanted to speak to Varys? Yeah, before we leave, I'm just. I know that he's interested in his, his gun, and I know that we wasn't best of friends, but by the end of it, I have learned a lot from Varys. And hey, you don't know how the plans, do you? <laughs> I don't know that, but I know he's interested in your gun, and I know I helped you build a gun before, so I know gems is what does it. Sorry. And I want to give him gems as, as a gift, appreciation for him to at least let me studying off him to learn how to enhance my magical abilities, and I wish him best of luck, and if we see each other, I'm always an ally. Okay, you bring up a point. So, you've got all these gems, all these gold, and you've got people that have nothing on this caravan. Do you give them any of this? I mean, or do you just hoard it for yourselves? I well, I'll give it some of them. Right? I mean, I'm right give them like five gold apiece. Is that word? Yeah. I mean, they're, uh, they're gold. Commoners. The only thing I took was they're commoners, right? They're commoners? They were just travelers, right? They're, they're people who just risk their lives and now have nothing. How much? A lot of these people lost everything they had. I will gladly uh, suit every one of them back up. I mean, come on, you got 196 gold plus 66 platinum. Yeah, I'm keeping 66 platinum. It's in my coin purse. Well, I've heard we just split the, <laughs> everything five ways, one take on. And, okay, you can have all the gold. I'm just keeping platinum. Wait, all together, <laughs> your coins come out to 901 gold pieces all together. Yeah. Then you got 30, uh, you got eight, nine, 930 just in gems. And you've got a thousand seventy-five just in art gold pieces. So you've got over like thirty thousand. Make it fairly even. Let's take hundred and one gold and spread it throughout the caravan on everybody. So that way it's eight hundred gold gold coins even, and we all get two hundred. Well, that's why you're not voting. <laughs> well, that's why I already have sixty-six platinum in my coin purse. I got it wrote down. But I'm just saying, <laughs> you guys are yeah. you giving some of these guys wealth? Yes. Yeah, we should give them a cut. Let's, of it, let's give them the art because that's going to be harder to fence. And that's also hard for them to get food with. Let's give them gold. Okay, I did good. That's the, that's the, <laughs> you can keep all the art. <laughs> He's saying, give them the gold. Luna is. Roland is. Splitting the, uh, I, I'm put, so, I'm you're going to be highly voted against. They can have all the gold, but I got the platinum already. That's fine. In my purse. But I mean, I mean, I'm just asking if you're going to spread the wealth among yeah. some of these people. I they lost they everything. Take. You have two wagons full of supplies that you came with, and you, and then it begins. You had eight. I say we take 101 gold, and spread it throughout everyone that's still alive, so they all have money to live off of. That would actually their entire life. be more than a lot of these people have had. Yeah. I'm down for 101 gold. Agreed. And then we split one stuff over the other rest of us. Yeah. Two hundred each, three, four, five. So, you split this up. Uh, you had this conversation with Varied. Um, I'm sorry. 
I mean, El Hiri has a conversation <laughs> with you, rolling on the way towards Nisto, asking you um, why you have such a fondness for nature when you worship a god of battle. I always liked animals. He was like, "Do you are you sure there's not more to it than just your liking of animals?" He really likes animals. <laughs> you, have to, you have to keep them away from the bed. Not really. I grew up in a uh, pretty much pampered bills. lifestyle. And he said, "She tells you you are aware sometimes that more than one god do favor mortals." She's like, "You should keep an open mind." I think there is more to you than what you realize. Thank you. She says, take this. And she takes this bracelet off of her wrist. Cheers. You can keep that forever. I made that just for you. And she says, if you ever come to the high forest, she was like, if you come across any of the Amaral Enclave, show them that. And you have free passage. Put it on. Big enough. It should be big enough. I wore it around last night to make sure that it uh, fit. Help. All right. That fat wrist. <laughs> you put that on. Be it over. And then. Um, Your first forever. You become a laughing girl. Yeah. You hear a voice. You're under a geese. You haven't heard in a while. As soon as you put it on, and it's Kurd's voice, and you understand him, and he's like, "She's such a nice lady. I like that lady." Oh, you can he's very happy. You can hear the whisper of the trees and the plants around you. You hear me feeding Kurd. As long as you wear that, you're constantly under speak with animal and speak with plants. Sweet. Now that is magic. You may want to close your ear, I got an <laughs> Um, is there any other conversations anybody's wanting to have? A lot of the soldiers are asking of your tales, you know, what you've been through, I mean... I just point them towards the dragon head on the wagon. Oh, so you've pulled that out by now. Well, I didn't want to put, when we get to towns, I want to put it in the bag. But I don't want to stink and everything else up. Uh, it'll freak people out. Just take it out. I mean, it's like oh, ox tongues hanging out the side. But everybody's kind of like think it's cool though a little bit. They're like, <laughs> it's, they think it's impress impressive. Some people do, yeah. There's but a, you have to I know that just witnessed all that. I mean, takes them a lot of use to such oh, a thing. Well, in that case, I'll keep it on back. But we're calling it Pete. No. No, <laughs> you, you can you can lose a level. It <laughs> will never move past the guard. But uh, when I get the chance, I do want to. I don't know if I should though. I want to send it back to Greenest. Man, too bad you're not a necromancer. Just speak with Dad. Speak the dragon. No, you don't fuck up. Just, mate. Uh, just you, if, if you ask one of the guards to do such a thing, they can make sure that that happens. If you don't come to water, he. You know, one for a price. How much is the price? Um, let's just say something like that probably take about three, four hundred gold pieces if you wanted it like preserved, uh, and whatnot. And he's like, got about fifty gold pieces. He'll take care of all of it for you. I don't have three, four hundred gold pieces. Even though you got just got a ton of gold, I've had to make three guns now. So. Do you not know, just see the list of stuff that you guys got while ago? Yeah, well, like, well, how about this gym? I, I haven't counted up the gyms to clarify. I haven't even looked at the gyms. So you literally you've got over a thousand, almost a thousand in gyms, gyms yeah. alone. You got one that's worth five hundred gold pieces. It, if it's okay with everybody, can I pay to have this head preserved and sent back to greenest? Don't well, bother me. Uh, sentimentalities. You can use the six gold that I gave you. I won't use it to make my own. I'm just sitting there like, yeah, since you've been Oh, yeah, yeah. just pay back for six to go real fast. I feel, <laughs> yeah. I feel that the greenest needs it as maybe they can put it as a you know, statue in the city, knowing that what tried to uh, stop it. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. that was my idea. That's what, what I was thinking about. Like, either be in the blacksmithy, a tavern, or the mayor's hall, or I something. I tell you, under one suggestion. <laughs> I write a thing of honor of what we've done to take the dragon down, and it can be like a memorial writing underneath the dragon. Like a plaque. Yeah. 
Or, you, or if you do that, you just write a letter out and be like, you know, make sure it's done like this. This is posted underneath it. And I'm like, maybe uh, thing of the people that died in Greenith. And, a memorial? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Hey, there you go. Give yourself an inspiration. Okay. Thank you. Good idea. Yeah. I like that. So, um, so you're going to fork the money out for all this? Yeah, I'll pay the guard. We'll just say if you give him that one gym, that's worth five hundred. It'll cover it. Is it okay with everybody? Yes. All right. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Yeah, we lost our raised edge gym. Um, so you're gonna. Be, so you will go around taking the names of everybody on this caravan. Yep. That's alive and dead, and then need to make sure that same things those that passed away in Greenest are put on yeah. it. Yep. Not. That's a. That is a brilliant idea. I like that. Yeah. It's bloody lovely. Yeah, it's too bad you're not even from Greenest and you really thought about it. Shame on you. Well, I was wondering if you said that as a memorial or something. I just didn't think about that. <laughs> that's going to be like this stone monument and everything. Yeah. You're come back, there's going to be this museum and whatnot. In my head, it was a head in a tap one attack room wall. Come back so, a little bit, another dragon cult form, now worse of the dead thing. <laughs> 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 oh, no, 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 no. Maybe I can take one of these uh, mystical paintings book. and uh, be like, that's, see if like the bartender wants to buy it or the innkeeper wants to buy it, put it up in here, make a price with it. I'm gonna eventually say that you'll sell on that. You just drop. That's why. That's why I got gold pieces out. Of, like, oh, okay, so, so eventually, if you sell it, you'll sell it all. Especially when you need to like water deep. Okay. Okay. But I mean. Yeah. Some of these things will stick out like, hey, this belongs to this family, like, that's their heirloom and stuff. I mean, like, but I know you don't care about I mean, like, that. Well, we found it, so yeah. find your keepers. I don't know. <laughs> we found it. It only <laughs> fell out of a wagon carried away by a dragon. Yeah, the dragon took his wagon. We had to fight a little, like, medium-sized dragon. It was, it was a large size pretty dragon, big. medium-sized dragon. It was pretty big. Be like, um, is there any other conversations you guys want to have with anybody? You are going to have oh, a conversation with him? The cloak again. The cloak? Oh, you know what it is. Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. He puts it on. I'll be coming. Even if it was, cursed, I, even if it was cursed, I wouldn't tell you until it was about to roll the right time. time. I'll cast identify on everybody's items. Yeah, you've already been this. Programs. I know what it is. I'll cast Here's that down. magic stare at people. Uh, I'm going to go to the general goods store. Oh, last thing I want to do is go to the general goods store, and I'm going to buy any type of upgradable thing I can to upgrade the wagon that we're on. What do you mean? Like fortify it? Yeah. He wants to make it like Ben Hur, but like okay. a spike. You, you, you don't have to do all that because you have like a small army with you now. Well, I just want to, that way, whenever he's ready to depart from us, then his wagon is better. Okay. Fair enough. You got to buy like a ballista to put on the back of it and. Anything I can get for a car. Make a current armor. Yeah, 345. I've got like Gatling guns on his shoulders thought, and thought, chainsaws on his hands. I thought about taking all of our reports out reach our final armor. destination. Or we actually have some time to look around. You all die on a plane? I want to find someone who can do barding. Okay. For my own. And so, okay, well, you can do that, but here's the thing. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> but I mean, are you going to stick around the, the, to have that done? That's why I was like, going to wait till we had some time. And you'll, you'll, you'll get to a spot where you can get time for that, but it won't be now, though. Right, I don't. Okay. So, anything else need to be said? Before you depart to Nightstone? Nothing? Work on Rupert. I feel like we're forgetting Thank something, but I there is think. something very important we're missing that I can't think of it either. Wait. Guess who knows things? You do. The DM. Well, we're, in, uh, we're not in uh, Daggerford yet, right? No. no, no, no. You're past Daggerford. No, you're no, past you're, 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 yeah, I would say you're maybe a day before you return to Nightstone. I mean, other than other than uh, turning in the prisoner, prisoners. Uh, no, he's going to water. I want to know about the dude, the gargoyle that ran away. Like, mm -hmm. that needs to be said to somebody. Question for another day. Like, just like somebody needs to be informed of that. No, it, 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 it would that would require you to know of it, but no one knows of it. Like, not even the guard knows gargoyle was about. You just seen something shiny in its hand, like blue away. Well, the one besides this group is Leo, yeah, from which I'm sure he's told us is higher ups. Uh, yeah, he, no. by travel, he he's probably only been to Waterdeep for like yeah. a handful of days. So, um, we are near Waterdeep. 
have I seen or heard any sign of Arturius? Bird? Nope. Mm. Makes me worry. Yeah, you should be worried. Should have him back by now. Mm-hmm. You yeah. should have had that bird day. You know, I, I was convinced that you're, that, that was going to be your hawk in the sky. Yeah, you told me that, and I was like, I was going to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you have not seen that hawk. That hawk is not going back. What happened with Carlon? Was he heading this way? No, he was heading back to Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nothing else needs to be said. Anybody you guys know? Varus, Oss, Ardone, the guy you saved from the Hobgoblins. I mean, the old Harry is the only person going with you guys. Um, oh, <clears throat> well, I mean, that's not part of the flag. Oh, okay. Um, that yeah, is dead. Oh, at the uh, little good store, mm -hmm. there anybody can buy some cow trucks? Sure. Okay. Are you, I mean, you getting warned every time we go up by about giants, by the way. You're in what? Warn every time we go up through about giants. Like, inform them that there's been weird giants. Like, giants. Uh, you, you kind of cause panic when you talk about that? I'm just saying. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't let every town know, but let like the high, like, I mean, the like the guards guard. and stuff like that. Like the, the not tenant. counties or towns. Yeah. No, yeah. so, no that, that's smart. Okay. Um, I don't have anyone else on the list to talk to. I remember. Aust. Yeah. Uh, you probably. Yeah. So um, I assume I talked to Aust about as much as her. Yeah. You you got yeah you actually get all to start talking now. So yeah. um, so you guys meet at the crossroads. Um, all the travelers are with you. Uh, wish you the best of luck. They thank you for saving their lives. You know, they only wish that other people that they lost can come, you know, with them, be alive. Um, but you, you get a lot of thanks. Um, you get a lot of farewells and can't wait to see you if you go back to Waterdeep because you guys, your plan is to go back to Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, you made a lot of friends here. And <clears throat> more importantly, you made some allies. So I, I will apologize to each of them as well for the troubles we've caused them, or I feel like we've caused them. Um, some people are grateful for that. Some people be like, no, it's just life on the road. No one could have predicted things would turn into what they did. So, I mean, there's there, there are regrets, but none is pushed towards you guys. Yeah. I mean, that's just life on the road. And uh, with that, you'll camp at the crossroads. You'll have one more good night of storytelling, Luda playing the violin. Me working on Rupert. You working on Rupert, what's up? I'm gonna go, also in general, good story, we was talking about getting the flag. I wanna see if we can make a flag. flag. Yes, yeah. please, that'd be awesome. Okay, you gonna make a flag? I'm gonna try. I'll help with everything I got. Okay. I'm good at so much. And I asked Grizzly if it'd be okay if we fly it on his wagon. He doesn't see why not. Is there a way to register a group name? <laughs> uh, oh, word of mouth? Fair enough. I'll tell everybody who follows the Greenfields Company. Greensfield Company. Yep. I believe that's what we all agreed on. Yeah. Greensfield Company it is. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> you'll get a farewell, and Greensfield Company will head to Nightstone.